Hi everyone, I know you've missed me so much while I was away. I was on vacation with my family in Sardinia and I would have left you with a substitute, but the only person I trust with this channel is Vera and she had her SLE thing to do. And I know that the campaign channel has been on pause for a while because Mordred had to go visit his mother's family in Ohio, so I know you've all been dying to hear some news about me and my mostly fashionable friends. Here's what you've missed. First, and most importantly, Paris Men's Fashion Week just happened, and as some of you may know, I'm not going to talk about it because, well, let's be real, men's fashion is boring. And I mean, if I had the money to buy a sequin comme des garçons suit, I don't know any men in my life who would actually wear it, so what's the point? My wardrobe, on the other hand, has positively blossomed. I can make a whole episode on Italian handbags, and I mean, Okay, that's what I was going to do with this episode, but me and my friends were blindsided. While my friends and I were out on summer break spending time with family, going on tacky cruises, and expanding our wardrobe, someone decided to capitalize on our absence to libel us. This is a letter to the editor of the Camelot Circular from one Miss Greta Garlot. <clears throat> This new generation of millennials thinks that they're entitled to whatever they want, without putting in the work or gaining the knowledge they need through real-life experiences. They think that because they can put up a pretty website and write Twitters with pithy, pithy takes on the day, that they're somehow entitled to hold positions of power. They lack all real-world experience. They try to make up for it by talking over our heads and in ways that we can't even hope to keep up with. Just because someone is better on the computer than someone else doesn't mean that they're fit to lead. Give these children a message, that they're still children, that their condescension towards Camelot residents will not stand, that they cannot rely on social media to make up for real work and skills. Send them a message on election day next week, vote Arthur Pendragon for school board. In response to this obvious garbage, Miss Garlot, I have a few notes prepared just for you. This election day is coming up in just a few days, and all of you registered as Democrats in Camelot will have an opportunity to choose between Mordred and Arthur Pendragon to represent you in the general election for school board. Your choice is between an intelligent, motivated, energetic, kind, loyal young man with a heart for this community, or a lawyer. I'm sure you'll make the right decision.